a LEGO Haunted House set will be releasing on May 20th for VIP members and on June 1st for all. Including 3,231 pieces and priced at $250, this new set is incredible. Those are just the basics because this set is really something special. This set is not your average haunted house set. It references LEGO Adventurers, a theme introduced in 1998. In the background of an image LEGO released for the press release, there is a collection of Adventurer sets, all but confirming their references. This set is based in a theme park, and a story is created for the attraction itself using the antagonist of Adventurers, Baron Von Baron. Also, I can almost guarantee that the designers were looking at Disneyland's Haunted Mansion, Walt Disney World's Haunted Mansion, Disneyland Resort Paris's Phantom Manor, and Hong Kong Disneyland's Mystic Manor because there are so many similarities to those attractions found in this set. To start, the exterior is very clean and fresh looking. It very much follows Walt Disney's idea for Disneyland's Haunted Mansion of keeping the house on the outside in good shape and letting the ghost take care of the inside to fit with the aesthetic of the rest of Disneyland Park. The architecture is really nice and I'm impressed. The color palette is mostly black, dark brown, and olive green, which is okay. The house itself is named Manor Von Baron, again another reference to LEGO Adventurers, and that is shown on the plaque. The house can open up, revealing the interior. The interior is filled with various treasures and artifacts that Von Baron has collected, referencing several sets from the adventurer's theme. To begin, there is a portrait of Baron Von Baron, which is embedded with a play feature. Using a light brick, the portrait can be lit, giving it a glow effect, and also projecting the image of Pharaoh Hotep, the mummy from LEGO Adventurers. Below that, there is a pipe organ, which looks very similar to the one found in the Haunted Mansion, which, side note, is actually a prop from 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Placed above the pipe organ are two Anubis heads, found in several adventurer sets, namely 5938 Oasis Ambush. In the room off to the left, there is a door that leads to the outside with a chandelier above it. In the space above that foyer room, there is a desk with a hanging skeleton, perhaps that of Sam Sinister from LEGO Adventurers, or perhaps just a ghost host. In the center room, there is an obelisk, again from LEGO Adventurers, which appears in several sets, one of which being set 5978 Sphinx Secret Surprise. Also from that set is the Sphinx head, except with updated colors. There is a little desk with some potions, and placed above that is another reference to adventurers, being this thing. I have no clue what it is exactly. Above that is a little space with a jar and a chest, and yet again, another adventurers reference. This is the last one, okay? It is an idol from Orient Expedition found in set 7412, Yeti's Hideout. Adjacent to that space is a gym enclosed in a jar, which is nothing specific to LEGO Adventurers, but it could be something from that theme, perhaps. Above all that is the tower, holding the main play feature of the set, a drop tower, most definitely drawing inspiration from the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror and Walt Disney World. There is even a door at the top for riders to see the rest of the theme park, which is so reminiscent of the Tower of Terror. Moving beyond the house, there are the minifigures, the only disappointing factor in this set, at least to me. You have your writers or tourists, whatever you want to call them, and the problem with them is that they're drawn from other sets, so they're extremely lacking in that sense from a creativity standpoint. The ghost hosts are the worst though, they use prints from over a decade ago that haven't been used in a while, and they're both identical to one another, no differences. All I ask is to put a different face print on one to show some variety. This just shows laziness. The only good minifigures are the ghosts, which are not good, they are amazing. They reference the original ghost minifigure that appears in several castle sets and more. Since the original piece is no longer in production, a new figure was created and the designers did a really good job with it. The box is very interesting. It follows that of Ultimate Collector's series Star Wars sets, with an olive green brick border, which to me looks ugly. It should have been black instead, but I can get past that. 
I like the rest of the box for the most part, but they abandoned the Creator Expert branding for this set and in general, which I'll discuss in a minute, and in place uses the name of the set almost as the theme logo, which is fine. And another weird thing is that they threw the LEGO logo at the bottom left instead of at the top left like usual, which I personally dislike. So LEGO has abandoned the Creator Expert theme or branding in general, and this is because they believe they can reach to more adults with this new style. So I guess this means that uh, future modular buildings will follow a similar style to this set from now on. I don't know, I think it's fine because this isn't showing up at Target or whatever, it's direct to consumer, meaning that you can only purchase a set like this at the LEGO store. I think it would sell terribly at Target or something because of the box, and that's just a marketing technique. This is the same kind of concept as the Hidden Side set or the new Wonder Woman set. So we'll see how LEGO's new marketing technique works out. The last thing I want to discuss is the price. Does this set look like a $250 set based on the picture? Yeah, I'd say so. Maybe $200 would be more suitable, but I think that might be too generous to LEGO. We'll have to see if my opinion holds up once the set is released and we can get our hands on it. So in conclusion, that's the set. I'm a really big fan of it and I hope to buy it soon. All but the minifigures are great. So it's definitely something I'll buy, though it won't be something I'll purchase for a while. I need to save money for the summer sets and the Pirates of the Barracuda Bay set, which, speaking of, is very similar to this set in the fact that they're referencing old LEGO themes, so I thought that was just a cool connection there. So that's, that's it. Will you guys be picking up this set? Do you guys like it? I want to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have a magical day and a great big beautiful tomorrow. Till Spire.